I used my Celestron CPC 1100 telescope with Hyperstar lens system. The telescope was operating at f2 and the secondary mirror was removed and in its place I installed the Malincam Color Hyper Plus. The scope was set up in alt as mode and the camera was set to the 56 second exposure time frame. There are several things seen in this image. At the very top, slightly out of the field of view, is Alnatac, or Zeta Orionis. This is the bright star to the left end of the belt in Orion's constellation. The dark line coming from the center of the star is a re reflection of the cables leaving the Malincam and passing in front of the corrector lens on its way out of the path of the light. To the right of Alnatac is the Flame Nebula. Below Alnatac in the center is a bluish nebula, NGC 2023, and in the bottom left is the Horsehead Nebula. The Horsehead Nebula is known as Bernard 33. Bernard 33 is a dark nebula in front of the, a bright nebula. The reddish nebula behind the Horsehead is IC 434. The Horsehead Nebula is approximately 1,500 light years from Earth. It's one of the most identified nebulas because of its shape. Between the Horsehead and NGC 2023 is a ghost of Alnatac. The, the blue weird shaped pattern is actually internal reflections in the Hyperstar lens assembly. The shape of the horse head was first noticed in 1888 by Will, Wilhelmina Fleming on one of the photographic plates taken at the Harvard College Observatory. The red glow originates from hydrogen gas predominantly behind the nebula ionized by the nearby bright star Sigma Orionis. The darkness of the horse head is caused mostly by thick dust although the lower part of the horse, head, horse head's neck casts a shadow to the left streams of gas leaving the nebula are funneling, funneled by strong magnetic fields and bright spots in the Horsehead Nebula's base are young stars just in the process of forming. <laughs>